This morning at 11 o'clock, we pause to remember the 85 NHS colleagues and the 19 colleagues from social care who've lost their lives with coronavirus. It was a solemn moment of reflection for so many of us and of unbearable sadness for some. On the most recent figures, there have been 763,387 tests for coronavirus so far in the UK, including 43,453 yesterday. 161,145 people have tested positive, an increase of 3,996. 15,796 people are currently in hospital with coronavirus. 21,678 have now sadly died in hospital, an increase of 586 since yesterday. We will not be changing the social distancing rules until our five tests have been met. The NHS protected, infection rates falling, the number of deaths falling substantially, the operational challenges around testing and PPE addressed, and no risk of a second spike. I want to update you on two other issues of major importance. First on testing. At the start of the month, I set a goal of 100,000 tests a day. Every day, we're ramping up this testing capacity on track to meet that goal. We're continuously opening new drive-through centres. There are now 41, with 48 going live this week. For people who can't get to the tests, we're expanding home testing to bring the test to them. We're increasing the dispatch of home test kits from 5,000 a day last Friday to 25,000 a day by the end of the week. At the weekend, 17 mobile testing units manned by the Army were operational. By the end of the week, we plan to have over 70 deployed with trained crews right across the country. All of this has led to an increase in daily testing capacity, which now stands at 73,400. And this has allowed us progressively to expand access to testing. We started with hospital patients who've always had the access to tests right the way through, ramping up to include symptomatic NHS and social care colleagues and their households, and then to all essential workers. Today, because we've been able to expand capacity, I can expand access further. Building on successful pilots, we'll be rolling out testing of asymptomatic residents and staff in care homes in England and to patients and staff in the NHS. This will mean that anyone who is working or living in a care home will be able to get access to a test whether they have symptoms or not. I'm determined to do everything I can to protect the most vulnerable. And we now have the capacity to go further still. So from now, we're making testing available to all over 65s and their households with symptoms and to all workers who would have to leave home in order to go to work and members of their households, again, who have symptoms. So from construction workers to emergency plumbers, from research scientists to those in manufacturing, the expansion of access to testing will protect the most vulnerable and help keep people safe. And it's possible because we've expanded capacity for testing thus far.